So I told you guys in another video, the one about the North Carolina attack on the power grid, I told you that there was a high possibility about it being part of a bigger attack on our power supply here in America. And we're talking about widespread power grid attacks. And well, the news regarding the warning is finally coming to surface with the Homeland Security issuing many, several warnings for the rest of our country and even revealing target locations. In fact, the intelligence memos warns of threats on the power grid in specifically six states. To a News Nation exclusive, we have a Homeland Security memo warning about threats to U.S. power grids. Uh, this follows attacks over the weekend on some power substations in North Carolina. And guys, in the memo, quote, a threat of civil war that the source claimed is not gonna happen until people target these places. And they provided a list of targets. Day after day, North Carolina struggles without power, which is a real scary reality for many people, and especially in the middle of winter. Struggling with energy, heat, no communication, enforced curfews, and more. With the threats prior to more county power outage finally coming to light, we're learning that it wasn't about a drag show, rather, but possibly involving more threats on our power grid and possibly involving the Civil War. This is the target list you need to know, coming right up. Okay, subscribers, welcome back and thanks for watching our videos. If you're brand new here, like this kind of information that affects you. Prepping tips, emergency preparedness, how-tos weekly. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you guys can stay up to date. Let's jump into this one. So like I said, guys, Homeland Security finally coming to the surface with all of these threats now that they attacked Moore County. If you didn't catch that before we get to these six states, Here's a little recap. To a News Nation exclusive, we have a Homeland Security memo warning about threats to U.S. power grids. Uh, this follows attacks over the weekend on some power substations in North Carolina. Tens of thousands of people are still waiting for electricity to be restored. And our Evan Lambert is live with a closer look at this threat and other areas that could be in danger. All right, so first of all, super sad for the 40,000 plus people that struggled without power. And as far as I know, are still struggling without power. It is not back together 100%. Now we saw a lot of fluff about it being directed towards and caused by super right side extremists about this drag show. But now we're learning that intelligence provides that we were warned about different attacks. In fact, for over a month, they have threats on several places, and we're going to go over all of those places. Adrian, we obtained several memos exclusively. They say in the days before the North Carolina substation attack, they warn of similar incidents that could happen across the country and even reveal other targets. A Department of Homeland Security intelligence memo obtained exclusively by News Nation says an anonymous forum user called for attacks against critical infrastructure, including substations in six states, just about a month before a similar attack, which cut power to tens of thousands in North Carolina. Blows my mind, but it doesn't really because we're kind of getting used to this kind of stuff. So what exactly is the Homeland Security finally putting out there? The memo reads, quote, in a thread about a civil war, source claimed, quote, it's not going to happen until people target these places and provided a list of targets, including the, quote, strategic national stockpile, strategic petroleum reserve and all power plants over a certain capacity. This follows News Nation reporting that shows another federal law enforcement memo warned of other attacks like the one against Moore County substation. So you don't think they could have come out and told us a little bit about that, that they had received attacks until this late into the game while all this fluff is going around and being directed due to this attack due to a drag show. So like I told you, they knew about this way before the attack on Moore County. So back it up a little bit and take in what you just heard. The memo reads, quote, in a thread about a civil war, source claimed, quote, it's not going to happen until people target these places and provided a list of targets, including the, quote, strategic national stockpile, strategic petroleum reserve and all power plants over a certain capacity. Electrical grids over a certain size, petroleum reserves, stockpiles before the civil war will happen. Now, which group of people 
have been attacking those things already. In theory, of course. Do you think where the finger is going to be pointed, those folks would attack those things? Something ain't adding up. And before I give you these six states, there's two other bonus states that are already reporting. And big surprise on what color those states are. The memo says, quote, power companies in Oregon and Washington have reported physical attacks on substations using hand tools, arson, firearms, and metal chains, possibly in response to an online call for attacks on critical infrastructure. The memo says the aim is, quote, violent anti-government criminal activities. In Oregon, Portland General Electric confirms in an email to News Nation, quote, PGE is aware of a deliberate physical attack on one of our substations in the Clackamas area that occurred in late November, saying the FBI is investigating. Now, this might be far-fetched theory, but in my mind right now, funny how they descriptively tell who they're after, why? It's not the real fight, it's the precursor to the fight. In a thread about a civil war, source claimed, quote, it's not going to happen until people target these places. I don't know, guys. Maybe all this bad news is getting to my head. Let me know down in the comments what you guys are thinking, but it seems a little far-fetched. And these so-called hardcore patriots, I don't think they're going to be attacking our infrastructure, our oil, and our electrical grid. Do you? Like I heard before on CP's channel, might be state sponsored. The FBI telling News Nation Tuesday it is too early to know a motive for the gunfire damage that caused widespread power outages in Moore County, North Carolina. But there have been similar cases of vandalism and plots in North Carolina and across the country in recent months. Always so comforting when we know the FBI is involved, right? So what's the FBI telling us to do? And in response to these threats, the FBI says that it works on a daily basis with local law enforcement to find out about these threats and to stop them. They also urge, if you see something, say something. So there we have it. I'm glad the FBI is on our side. Okay, so with that information, you want to know what six states they are. Now, somebody that's doing these attacks apparently has spilled the beans on where they're going to attack, which doesn't make a lot of sense. But if you're in these areas, definitely be sure that you are stocked up you're prepped for at least a power outage. They're telling us right now that these areas are on the target list and expect power outages. And looking at North Carolina, it's looking like a week, a week or more. So in the middle of the winter, are you guys prepared for a week of no power? Let's check out those states. Anonymous forum user called for attacks against critical infrastructure, including substations in six states, Arizona, California, Maryland, Nevada, Tennessee, and Wisconsin, just about a month before a similar attack, which cut power to tens of thousands in North Carolina. So there you have it. Not very comforting coming from Homeland Security. These are real threats. As far as these Homeland Security memos go, would I expect something in these six states? Yeah, probably. And as many people know, you're gonna be attacked when you're most vulnerable. Winter is a hard time to survive without power. So with that, like I've said before, you need a heat source, food, water, multiple ways to stay warm. We've got tons of videos on our channel, check them out. I teach you all the tricks and tips about this thing right here. There's a lot of people that think preppers are conspiracy theorists. Well, I don't know anything about that, but I do know about emergency preparedness. And what we're trying to spread to our community, and as far as we can reach, that's why you want to share this, you want to be prepared for an emergency. And an emergency, an SHTF situation, means the power might be out in the middle of winter. So you're either going to be someone that's prepared or someone that's struggling. You guys missed my video on North Carolina. I give you a bunch of good tips at the end of the video. With that, there's those six states. Plus, you got Washington and Oregon under threat. Like always, I will keep giving you guys updates as I hear them if I think it will affect you. Keep prepping, keep learning, keep doing. We'll see you guys on the next one.